We understand, but the personal attacks don't belong here. Send that to us. We're happy to look at it. This is not the forum. If you want to continue with policy fatigue, please do. We're, we're not going to allow it. We've had some things in here that really went beyond the pale. So For our why personal don't you board stop members. Comments when they're criticizing Natalie Klein. I don't remember don't the last do time. I don't remember, Ms. Despain, I don't want to engage in a whole long debate with you, but I don't remember the last time somebody stood here and made a personal attack on this client. If they do, we'll stop them. So feel free, again, if, if you want to criticize on policy, we respect your right to do that. We want to protect our board members from personal attacks in this forum. So really, you're going to tell me that I can't give my public comment? If it's a personal attack, yes. If it's a policy attack, our job is to serve you, and you're very welcome, as Ms. Wilbur just did, to attack our policies and our decisions. We're just not going to have personal attacks on a specific board okay. member. Well, I am commenting on how USBE is being run. So and I you can do relevant. that if it doesn't go to a personal board member attack. Tell okay. us we're horrible. Can Tell you, us we messed okay. up a vote. We're, we're good with that. It's just not a personal attack on the, on the board member. Um, so can you start my time over and I guess I will... If you can do that, sure. We just want to put the word out. We're, we're, we, we welcome criticism. We don't want our board members subject to personal belittling and attack in this forum. So I don't know where you were. I have 45 seconds. Anybody know? Can you just start it over and I'll just take her name out? And I, I just would say then I hope I'll see this the next time Klein is called out because Absolutely. I see it over and over all the time with her. It, I, I don't recall it here, but please, <laughs> hey, we will do it. You're, you're right to call us out Chairman, and hold I'm us. I'm sorry, but you're embarrassing yourself. Hey, you're you can go, Ms. Despain. If somebody says something personal about one of our board members, this is what we'll do. Go ahead if you want. you got a minute. You reset the clock. If you want to go ahead on a policy critique, have at it. We're, the floor is yours. Can you start my time over? We reset it to the point where we catch you off. I don't know, two minutes, you, you guys are, we're, we're going by our parliamentarians, so we're, we're neutral, I don't, however time you have left, we're going to restore that. Two minutes, let's go to two minutes, I, you know. As part of National Gratitude Month, I want to express my gratitude for the freedom I have to hold my elected representatives accountable. Though I enjoy the introduction informing citizens that we are not to criticize anyone directly, I'll remind you that as representatives, you work for us. As a citizen of the USA, it is my right and duty to hold you accountable, and I will greatly criticize my elected representatives as I see fit. I prepared for this comment by watching credible investigative videos from Michael Clary's YouTube channel. In them, he laid out verifiable facts and evidence revealing the embarrassing ineptitude of USBE. Included in this ineptitude is the board succumbing to the childish whims of one of its members who unethically and illegally colluded with her college buddy, KSL reporter Lindsay Ayers. Together, they formulated a plot to take down fellow board member Natalie Klein in the public media. Sadly, this pathetic attempt to defame Klein wasted the time of USBE members and the resources of Utah taxpayers. Of course, this all resulted in a big fat nothing burger since Klein has never done anything illegal which could ethically warrant action from USBE. Meanwhile, Utah's school report came out and our scores are below 50% for ELA and around 30% for math and science. The scores in my children's school in Murray, which this official represents, are significantly lower than that. This is very sad, especially considering the fact that many in Murray are minorities who need a strong focus on academics to help them overcome barriers. It can only be described as tragically ironic that this member who prides herself on her minority status as a queer identity is robbing our minority students of what they need most so she can use the board to... Dismayed. That's it. You're done. Mike's cut. We don't allow personal attacks. The policy attack was fine. We welcome it. Do not attack our personal board members. All right, moving on. 